Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about the second part of this snail 3D model, especially for the body, how to make this organic form. Are you ready? Let's get started. So this is what we have from the last demonstration. If you um, haven't watched this one, you might want to watch it first. Go to the right top corner right here and click on that. We'll bring you another window for this tutorial. So once we have that, I'm going to rotate it into the right position for us to start doing the model. And I'm going to mirror that to the other side. It's just easier for me to look at it. All right, so I'm going to creating a body on it. Let me create another layer and we are going to lock the one on the top so we can kind of draw a reference for that. There's a few way to make that body. Um, I will, I'm going to starting with the oval. I'm going to start with the oval and let's go ahead to draw something like that. This is roughly how long this is going to be. And I'm going to show you a few way to make this one. If you watch the potato um, video that I had before, you probably already know what I'm going to do. First of all, I want to draw the profile of what uh, the top it's going to look like. On the top, I have a head there. It's coming in like that and it's roughly, it's gonna be here. Maybe moving those two points in a little bit. And the body, I want it to sit a little bit lower right here. Okay, and then we can change the shape if we want to. And here coming in a little bit. Okay, uh, the bottom, it doesn't have to be so pronounced. Uh, I'm going to create another curve and it's a little bit more shallow. I can even get in inside of the body if I want to and to create something look like this. Maybe this is coming in too much and you can always adjust it, right? So like my sweet potato uh, demonstration, the first command that I'm going to try is the loft. So I need to have four curves. They are coming into the point. At this point, uh, I only have three there. So this curve oval is going to be split by this curve. So I got one, two, three, four. So the command we are going to try, it's called loft. And you want to click in the order of three o'clock, 12 o'clock and nine and six o'clock. And then you will get something like that. It is opening right there is because we didn't close it. So right here on your option, make sure that you close the loft and then you will get something like that. So that will be the shape that we have. Now, in order to get it more um, able to edit a little bit more, we can do is we can rebuild the entire piece. And you may find out what I have here is when you try to when you try to rebuild and that it doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because it's a closed solid poly surface. All right. So by comparison, I'm going to move this one there and exam on the curve that we have. The curve over here, if you um, rebuild this curve and it's going to tell you it's a degree two curve. And the same thing on the other side. What about this one? It's a degree three curve. So we need to make sure everybody is degree three um, to start with. It doesn't, you don't have to make it like really more point. The whole, the whole point is we need it to be degree, uh, degree three curve. And if we do left one more time, one, two, three, four, and you get something like that and make sure you close the loft and they will get a single surface. As you can see, we can rebuild this one. All right. So if you have the problem like what I had, then that might be something you want to rebuild. Okay. Another thing I wanted to look at again, by comparison, I'm going to move this guy out one more time. And look at the ISO curve that I have. If I turn on the control point for this one, Notice that my ISO curve, they are going into one direction. It doesn't go like, like grid direction. So if I try to pull, it's coming into the very point there, right? So the way to make it more uniform, what you can do is you can rebuild all the curve at once and try to rebuild them into the same point. So I'm going to try to build with the 16 
or more, let's try 20. And so that way, all of them will have the same point. So if we do loft one more time, we go from one, two, three, four, and make sure you close your loft and you can see it's a lot more regular. Okay, so if we wanna rebuild this one and to get a lot more point, and then you can see it's the structure is really different compared to this one and of course compared to this one so we have poly surface we have single surface but the uh, structure on the ISO curve is going into one direction and this one's actually better for us to use so I'm going to delete those two all right so we can keep editing by turn on the control point and drag any point that you feel like you want them to be narrow so maybe certain point right there you want them to go in or whatever you would like to do on that or um, making the point coming out something like this and keep dragging to get the shape you want okay so let me do a comparison by moving this one to the other side and I'm going to change into black color I think this is gonna look better okay the second way that we can do while we are having those uh, full curve over there we're gonna come into the top view and the command we are going to use is the curve from a cross section profile you need to make sure that you pick them in the order either clockwise or counterclockwise let's pick up the three o'clock twelve nine and six and we hit enter nothing happened yet so you coming on to the front view and you want to draw a line across the entire shape and whatever you draw it gives you a cross section right there you can draw as many as you want to okay so once you have this um, we're gonna coming over here they all only have a three point there so we want to rebuild them into more points so I'm just gonna put it into roughly about maybe 10 points now I have more point, I can say, all right, this has to come in down and this has to come in down, something like that. So maybe I want this to coming over a little bit like that. So once you have everything is ready, you wanted to do the command, it's called curve network. And we want to select everybody there. So that allow you to get the curve or the body is more close to exactly curve that you want to. And once you like it and then you click enter or click OK, then you will get this shape here. All right. So after that, you can still edit it because this is a single surface. We can even turn on the control point saying, OK, those need to come out a little bit more and then we can do whatever we want for this organic shape. So I'm going to use the first shape that I create and um, turn on my control point. And I want to point out this one and this one by dragging them up a little bit and coming out a little bit. So that way to have the point to, to starting edited. Now you probably notice you can kind of keep dragging that much, but I do not want it to have really fat button there so instead of keep dragging I'm going to use some bowling tool here so let's make the antenna things we want to go into this uh, trunket cone and roughly about this size and going up for this much and also want to put a ball on top of it so let me align with the center coming up like this and bring this one up there okay so that's bowling this one and using that as an example we are going to moving this one up kind of a tilt it in this angle and move it close to that point that we have and um, Try to mirror to the other side and see what happened. The thing is, if you want to make it look organic, you probably don't want them to be the same angle. So you might want to tilt it this a little bit in this angle and the other one in other angle. So it will look uh, more natural there. 
All right, and I also need uh, two more at the front. So make this one a little bit smaller and maybe tilt it toward to the bottom and somewhere there. Like that, I think they have, I don't know what uh, that is, but I think in the picture you kind of see they have something look like this. And you can make this smaller, they usually are smaller. And adjust the height of things um, that fit into your design. Uh, one thing I want you to make sure is the um, printing. So make sure you are not getting too thin like what I have here. It might be too thin for print. Um, or for casting. In that case, I kind of want to enlarge them uh, even though it may not be proportional exactly look like um, the real snail, but I rather um, want it able to print. All right. So once we have that, let's give it a try. We want to do the bowling unit and bowling unit all of them. Notice that if I wanted to turn on control point now. I cannot because it's a closed solid poly surface. Okay, so you want to edit the body uh, before you actually doing any of the bowling work, right? If we look at the render, it's going to notice that this is a really sharp corner there. So what we wanted to do is giving a fillet edges. Right here, I'm going to try one millimeter here. And see how does it look like. If it blended really well, um, maybe we, let's try do a test for 1.5. And be careful that you may break it. So one is probably a good number. In my case, I'm gonna stay with the one here. All right. And this one, one might be too big, but let's give it a try. We want to do one as well. Yeah, it's already too big. You see the other side is already gone. And maybe smaller size uh, into this smaller one. Okay, let's take a look on the render and see if everything is smooth. All right, and then we can also turn it on our shell and kind of arrange into the right position. Maybe tilt, tilt it a little bit like that. If you like the video, please consider joining the membership. It is a monthly subscription. If you click the join button, it's going to bring you into the membership pages and show you what that is. Not only you are supporting my passion, helping other people to learn jewelry design, also you can watch the member only exclusive video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the membership program.